in the continuation of my previous video in which I have uh, explained the basic meaning of dy upon dx I am going to explain the differential coefficient of x raised to the power n with the same concept so let y is equal to x s to the power n let y is equal to x s to the power n and its differential is dy over dx is equal to n x s to the power n minus 1 so now we are going to prove it proof as y is equal to x s to the power n let it be equation number 1 and let us take a small increment in x delta x as a result of which the increment in y is delta y so we may write as y plus delta y is equal to x plus delta x whole is to the power n so transposing the y to left hand side we have it implies that delta y is equal to x plus delta x raised to the power n minus y and since from equation number 1 y is equal to x s to the power n so we may replace y by x s to the power n here so we have delta y is equal to x plus delta x raised to the power n minus x raised to the power n now dividing both sides by delta x we get delta y upon delta x is equal to x plus delta x raised to the power n minus x raised to the power n upon delta x so taking limit delta x tends to 0 on both sides we have limit delta x tends to 0 delta y over delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 x plus delta x raised to the power n minus x raised to the power n divided by delta x so now let us take limit delta x tends to 0 now let us take x common out of this binomial so we have x s to the power n outside because there is whole power n of this bracket so if we take x common out of these two terms uh, out of this bracket so this x will have the power n and inside the bracket we have 1 plus delta x upon x whole raised to the power n minus x s to the power n divided by delta x so that is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 and out of these two terms as we see x s to the power n can be taken common so x s to the power n is common inside the bracket we have 1 plus delta x upon x whole raised to the power n minus 1 divided by delta x so now limit delta x tends to 0 x raised to the power n and now here in this square bracket inside 
uh, this is square bracket uh, what there is 1 plus delta x upon x is to power n so we are going to open this uh, or we may say uh, we are going to expand this with the help of binomial theorem so using binomial theorem expanding this as 1 plus n delta x upon x plus n n minus 1 upon factorial 2 delta x square upon x square and plus so on to infinity divided by delta x as it is in the denominator. So now proceeding from this step so we have limit delta x tends to 0 x is to the power n here I forgot to write minus 1 because expanding this expression as this at last we need to write minus 1 because this is outside this expansion so this minus will cancel this plus this minus plus 1 cancelled with each other and we are left with limit at delta x tends to 0 x is to the power n inside the bracket we have n delta x upon x plus n n minus 1 upon factorial 2 delta x square upon x square plus so on to infinity and in the denominator we have delta x as it is. So next step limit delta x tends to 0. Now you see out of these terms n delta x upon x is common so we may take these terms common n delta x upon x and inside the bracket we have 1 plus n minus 1 upon factorial 2 delta x upon x because we have taken one power out of this bracket so there is delta x upon x in place of delta x square upon x square plus so on to infinity. So in denominator we have delta x here this delta x is cancelled by this delta x and if we apply the limit here in this step so we have to substitute delta x is equal to 0 in this expression so as you see every term of this expansion will have delta x except the first term that is 1 so applying the limit delta x tends to 0 each and every term of this expansion will become 0 except the first term so we have only x raised to the power n into n upon x into 1 so n and by theory of indices x is to the power n upon x can be written, written as x is to the power n minus 1. So ultimately we have found dy upon dx is equal to n x is to the power n minus 1 because as I have told you on the uh, this expression that is limit delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta x is denoted by dy upon dx. Uh, so on the left hand side we may write dy upon dx so ultimately we have dy upon dx is equal to n x raised to the power n minus 1 if y is equal to x raised to the power n so this is the proof of differential coefficient of x raised to the power n is n x raised to the power n minus 1.